This is my second week at the hospital and it's been a fantastic experience so far. I think what I've really been amazed by is just how warm and friendly and welcoming everyone's been. And what I really noticed last week was while the site was under some pressure, just the fantastic teamwork I saw throughout the hospital, all of our staff working together to really deliver for our patients. So it's been really great to be here and start as part of the team with you. So I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm most excited about this role because actually I live 30 minute walk away from the hospital. So my commute's incredible. I've gone from taking about an hour and a half each way um, on the M25 and the M20 to just a lovely walk through the park in the morning. But in all seriousness though, I think one of the reasons I'm really excited about this role is actually the prospect of the new hospital. Because I think it gives us a fantastic opportunity to really think through, not just when the new hospital is built, but now, how do we provide care for our community moving forward in a way that's really going to meet the needs of the people we serve, not just today, but tomorrow and into the future. And I think it's an exciting time to join Whips Cross, um, and that's why I'm really excited to be here with you. So I think if I, if I was to define the, the, the things that I want to achieve around three main dimensions, as well I'd say the first thing is making sure that we look after our staff so I think for many of us we know that it's been a really hard couple of years um, you know I think people are tired people have given absolutely their all and they've gone gone above and beyond and I think we've got to make sure we're looking after every single member of our staff out there because it's only if we're enabling our staff to operate at the very kind of top of their abilities that will provide that fantastic patient care we all aspire to. I think the second big priority for me really sits around um, making sure that we're in a position to treat the people that are out there in our communities that have been waiting a long time for treatment. So obviously with the COVID pandemic, we've seen across the NHS um, waiting times increase. And I want to make sure I'm working with all of our clinical divisions to actually make sure that we're reducing down those waiting times so that people are getting the care they need in a timely manner. And then the third thing I really want to be working on with you all is making sure that again we've got flow through our hospital and that for those patients coming in as emergencies we've got the right beds in the right place at the right time so they can get the right care they need and so that then all the way through the hospital back out into the ambulance service we've then got that capacity for all of the various aspects of our healthcare service to respond in a timely manner to the people out there when they've got the, the, the critical needs, um, especially around those non-electives. So the key thing I'd like to just say to all staff and patients is, you know, I know that for many of you, um, you know, you've got a very deep personal connection to this hospital, um, and I do as well. You know, this is the my local hospital. As I say, I live 30 minutes away. This is where my kids are treated when they're ill. I'm really personally invested in it as well. Um, and you know, I want to work not just with our staff and our patients, but the whole community to make sure that we service the needs um, of that community and that the whips cross and the services we provide are really the best of the best. So I'm really excited to be here with you and to help in that journey. And a big thank you for being so welcoming in my first week. And I look forward to meeting many of you as I get out and about in the wards.